So we're not gonna talk about how good my makeup looks. Is that what we're not gonna do? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am Andrea Siobhan and I'm currently a specialist in the United States Army. So as you can imagine, I have a bunch of people asking me questions, wanting to come into the Army. Everyone has their own concerns. Everyone have their own questions and things like that. But from time to time, I get certain questions or comments that trigger red flags for myself to make me think why a person should not join the army or at least reconsider their career choice and have a more open mind when it comes to joining the military. For the most part, the military can be like a regular job, but just like there's good and bad with everything, the military is no different. So you're gonna have to put up with some things that you don't necessarily like. And if you can't put up with those things, then that can be a good indication that you are not a good fit for the army. The army is not a good fit for you. However you wanna look at this, I'm gonna give you eight reasons why you may want to reconsider joining the military. But as you all know, I write everything down in a notebook. So excuse me if I'm looking at this before we jump into this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Guys, we are almost at 1,500 subscribers and I'm just loving this. That's crazy. Y'all like me that much? I digress. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. The number one reason why you may want to reconsider joining the military is if you are not a morning person, my alarm goes off every morning at 0500 and sometimes I have to get up at 0445 and I live less than three miles from post. 0630 is first formation and of course you have to be 15 minutes prior to 15 minutes prior so you might as well be there at 0600. So if you feel like you cannot get up every single morning super early sometimes way earlier than the times i just mentioned you may want to reconsider joining the army because that's going to be an every single day thing until you decide to get out of the army number two would be if you are lazy and if you don't have any initiative and i know that sounds really mean but a lot of the things that are going to help you stand above your peers and that are going to help you progress in your career you're not going to have the time at work to do those things for example schools education, civilian education, working out, eating, a lot of those things you're not going to have time to do on the clock. So these are things that you're going to have to do on your own free time. And if you're too lazy or you don't have any any initiative to do those things, then you're going to stay stagnant and you're going to stay exactly where you are. A lot of those people that climb the ranks really fast, they really apply themselves. Yeah, you have special cases, but for the most part, you have those people that apply themselves. And if you feel that that's something that you don't want to do, you don't want to give up a Saturday to do some classes, you don't want to give up a Sunday to do some volunteer hours, then maybe this is not the career field for you. Three is going to be if you are a selfish person and I'm talking about small picture. Not everything is big picture and that's not only with the military, that's with everything. If you are not volunteering to help people for details, if you know for a fact that somebody needs help with some type of work, just because you're not necessarily in that area or that's not necessarily your field of expertise and you're saying no because, hey, it's not my job, that's not going to get you anywhere. Being selfish in the army is not going to get you anywhere. Joining the army is a selfless service. I try to have this talk with someone because I feel if you want to get promoted, if you want to go to the board, if you want to do all of those things, yes, you have to respect rank automatically. I said that a few times in a few of my past videos, but just because somebody's respecting your rank don't necessarily mean that they're respecting you. So if you're that person, that's always walking off when somebody needs help with something, when you need a detail, when somebody needs help with, even if it's not even military related, and you're always that person like, no, that's not gonna help me, that's not gonna help me progress, that's not doing anything for me, so I don't wanna do it. Yeah, you're not gonna go anywhere at all, and maybe this is not the career field for you. And to be completely honest, if you are that person, don't want you in the army in the first place, so. The next one would be if you have a problem with authority. Being in the army, there's always, always, always going to be someone over you giving you orders unless you are the United States 
president, you are always going to have someone over you giving you orders. And if you feel that you can't tolerate someone telling you what to do, someone barking orders and yelling at you, then this is definitely not something that you want to get yourself into because you're going to get your feelings hurt. Number five is going to be if you have a hard time having difficult conversations, then you should not join the military because honestly, it should be in a contract that it says you should be able to have tough conversations. Listen, it's the army. If you're wanting to join the army, I'm pretty sure you kind of understand the culture of the army. So you're going to get yelled at for stuff you probably didn't do. You're going to get cussed out for stuff that you probably didn't do. You're going to get blamed for stuff that you probably didn't do. And being able to open your mouth and speak up in a respectful manner, in an appropriate manner, if that's something that you cannot do, if you can articulate yourself and be professional when it's time to be professional and when it's time to articulate yourself, in those tough situations, then you may want to stay at home because saying the wrong thing to the wrong people can get you in even more real trouble than you found yourself in in the first place. <clears throat> if you can't be away from your family, listen, this is the army and when you sign that contract, it's kind of a no brainer, I guess, to know that deployments happen, rotations happen, field duty happens, 24 hour guard shifts happen. So there's a lot of stuff that you're gonna miss out on. I actually mentioned that in a few of my videos that there are some things that you're going to miss out on. You're not gonna be able to be around your family all the time and at, sometimes you're going to have to be away from your family for extended periods of time. And if you feel that that's something that's really a deal breaker, then maybe you should not consider joining the army because it's kind of, it's not a situation of if it's going to happen, it's going to happen and it's something that you're going to have to be prepared for. The army is not for everybody. So if you were to get in and you feel that, you know what, I'm just away from my family a little too long, you can easily just ETS and you can at least say you tried, right? Number seven is going to be if your main focus is school. And I say that because this is something I struggle with when I first came in. One of my main reasons for wanting to join the army was for school and I mentioned that in my first Q&A. My reason for joining was stability in school and I thought that oh well I'm gonna have all the time in the world to go to school especially if I go online like no no you're going to have a hard time focusing because let's say you're in the middle of a semester and then out of nowhere you have to go to NCC for a month or out of nowhere you have to go to the field for a week or two and now you're missing all these assignments and you're missing out on important tests or let's say your finals is at one time you're not able to register for finals at the education center for another time now you have to go back and forth with your instructors and the people at the education center it's not as easy as they make it seem yes you can have free education while you are active duty you don't even have to touch your gi bill or anything like that you can just use tuition assistance but you have to really be dedicated and you have to really find a way to make it work so to be completely honest if wanting to go to school was your only reason for joining i would say find more reasons really dig deep and try to find more reasons because that won't be good enough unless you're going reserve or you know guard then you're not doing it full time but if you're trying to go active duty to go to school find another reason or find another way to go to school the last one i have on my list would be if you do not have tough skin then you should not join the army listen gender stigmas sexuality, racial stigmas, all those things. Yes, it is very real in the army and a lot of people have to put up with a lot of stuff. Me personally, being a female in the army, I've ran into issues. Being a black female in the army, I ran into issues. Being black in general in the army, I've ran into issues. So if you can't tolerate the things that people do and the things that people may say, then you may want to reconsider joining the army. Yes, you do have resources and you do have people you can go to if the things that you hear or the things that are being said to you is just over the top. For example, when you have people walking up to you and touching your hair and saying that your hair feels like a Brillo pad, uh, you know, it kind of hits you a different type of way, especially when it's a different kind of person. But again, these are things that you have to be able to maintain your military bearing 
and go through the proper channels to see that that type of stuff is not being tolerated when it comes to your unit. So that is the last one that I have. But I do have a bonus one, and when I say this one, I hate this one, and I hate when people ask me this, and that is when I get, Oh, I wanna join the army, but I don't wanna deploy. Or, What job should I get so I don't deploy? Listen, it don't matter if you are a 42 Alpha, it don't matter if you're a 74 Delta, it don't matter if you're a cook, it don't matter what you do, you are going to deploy at some point in time. If you join the army for the sole purpose of make it your business to do everything you can to not deploy, please stay at home because we do not need those type of people here. I get it, everybody is scared of deploying. Nobody wants to go overseas and die. I completely understand that. But that's exactly what you're signing up for. That is literally the main, you're always gonna be a soldier first. You're a soldier first. So if your main concern is joining the army and not wanting to deploy, or trying to figure out what job you can get so you can minimize your chances of deploying, you just, no, no, you're a soldier first. So regardless of what job you pick, what your status is, it don't matter. What rank you are, you're going to deploy. Simple. So that is all I have for this video. I hope it wasn't too long. Those are my eight reasons plus a bonus on why the army may not be for you. Yes, yes, yes. I know I just made a cons about the army video, but I'm telling you, I'm getting so many comments and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, maybe I have to reiterate because I don't think they're getting it. But do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so YouTube alerts you when I post new videos. And I'm going to leave because I have... 15 minutes to make it to post to pick up Mia because I don't know why I decided to film these videos at the last minute, but you already know when I do these things, I'm running late. So I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow them stuff for you. Right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record, for the record. Yeah. For the...